Yeah, where you're at mentally, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of a matter of, uh, you know, really learning the defense. That's kind of, so KB preaches, if you can't trust it, you're not going to play. So that's, you know, first things first. Learn the defense, and then, I mean, this spring I've kind of, you know, you can, you got to play the defense, but then there's also a little freedom, like, you know, if you know what's going on, you got a little bit of freedom to do kind of your own thing. So I feel like KB trusts me, you know, at least more than he did last year to the point where, you know, I'm able to kind of do my thing, whether, you know, it's doing some with pass rush or, you know, so I feel good. It's going good so far. A lot more comfortable out there. Sure. What does that do for you, I guess, to know that you have Kelvin's trust when you're, when you're on the field? Yeah, so, I mean, really, like last spring, it's kind of just like always in the back of my head, like don't mess up, don't mess up. And we're always just kind of like, you know, stepping on eggshells. It's it's kind of hard to, you know, get fluid and really do what you want to do. So, I mean, I guess the freedom that he kind of gives me allows me to, you know, be a little bit more craftier with, you know, especially pass rush. I've just been, you know, last year preached on, you know, quarterback depth and, you know, B gap, C gap. But this year I'm kind of able to, yeah, I think it's going to be uh, again, to my own myself, thing a little bit. So. What's yeah, the I'm biggest blind. thing you've kind of taken away from, obviously, it's quite the senior class last year. Like, yeah. yeah, it's kind of the biggest thing you took away. Like, from my from the seniors? Like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of, uh, you know, I feel like they did a really good job of playing as one. You know, that's what KB always talks about. Like, you know, you kind of got to be, you all got to be on the same page. And, um, I feel like they did a really good job of that, so I'm trying to emulate that with my teammates right now, Aaron Graves and you know, Hurricane, really whoever I'm out there with, just kind of being on the same page. So, uh, I my bad. Doesn't mean anything. Uh, I could care less what money I get. I mean, the NFL is always a dream for everybody here. I mean, that, that's what we all grew up thinking about. So, to get my shot will come and my time will come. So I'll wait it out. When you look at last year, there were times when you were the most dominant player on the field. I thought that against Wisconsin specifically, and then you got hurt at the end. Um, what what is the next step for you to go from being good and very good in those areas to dominant in every single area? Uh, that's really comes with practice, practice and repetition. Just coming in every day and doing what I need to do. And I know there's things I need to get better at, so I'm going to work on it. You, you know, where, where are you kind of focused on right now? Are you more zero in, in this defense, or are you going to now with Logan out, are you going to kind of move to more like a three yeah, technique? Like the well, the, the whole defense, if you understand the defense, there's multiple positions. So yeah. we all learn every position around here. Just for experience and to know what's going on, going on around us. Is one tackle position way different than the other as far as all the fundamentals and basics? Is there a big difference? Oh, you could say so. There's, there's different fundamentals that go under different positions. How, how do you guys, or how much do you guys focus on keeping the standard of this defense? It's been good for so long, and now it kind of, you guys are the next group. Well, the, the standard's been set, so we always keep raising it. How do you, how does that happen? I mean, how does it, how does year after year after year this continue to happen in this program? Well, it's, it's, it's the coaches. You, you have the same people that are here that, that stick around and know what they're talking about. And if you truly key in and listen to what they have to say, you'll, you'll grow and be better as a whole defense. Is it easier to do that as a veteran player as opposed to when you come in? For you, was it easy right at the beginning? Uh, coming in, yeah, you get your ass whooped. So <laughs> it's, it's going to be it's gonna be difficult at, at first, but now uh, I have the ropes, and we all go through it. Get in them. So it was really important for me to get that experience, and I feel like I learned a lot from last year. Yes, what the, you know, from Kelvin's perspective, what's the best piece of advice he's had for whether it be you individually or you guys as a position group, like maybe throughout the spring? What's one or two things that kind of stand out about what he said? 
Um, this piece of advice, I would say just coming in every day and like being excited to be out there and being excited for the opportunity because during spring you have no like game to look forward to, which is what they've been saying a lot, but these are some very important opportunities to keep getting better and grow for the fall, so I mean, that's what he's been saying a lot. What's this process been like for you, just growing in this program and getting to this point and how much patience has it taken to kind of get here? Yeah, I mean, this process has been awesome. It's been uh, there's been adversity through it, but there's been just awesome moments too. So I wouldn't take back a single second of it. How how has it been like? Do you, do you need to kind of just when you get here to say, okay, I know this is going to take some time, but you know, focus on the task at hand. Yeah, it's kind of like a just a day by day thing, like. Coming in, I had guys like Chauncey Golston, Joe Evans, Ben Valkenberg. So you got to kind of tell yourself, like, I'm going to try to learn as much as I can from these guys and just not focus on the big picture so much, but just take it day by day and say, like, okay, today I'm going to focus on keep my hands inside or today I'm going to focus on this move. It can't be like a big picture approach like I said. How much for you was just learning how to play defensive line? You played linebacker in high school. How much of an adjustment was that for you? It was a big adjustment but uh, I think some of the fundamentals kind of carry over as far as the run game especially but yeah I had to learn all the pass rush moves from these guys pretty much. I really hadn't done too much of that until I got here. How about Fitz? for Max recently? Right, I've, seen, last question, Jeff. I've oh. seen a lot of good stuff. Um, he looks, he's really quick. He's good in the pass rush. And I mean, he doesn't say a whole lot or he never complains. He's just always working and taking it day by day. So I'm excited to see what he can do. All right, thanks. Yeah, I think, um, I think you can be a leader at any age, but people certainly start to see you in that leadership role as you, uh, as you get older, get into like the starting position. So I think um, just working hard from a young age and then when your times come, taking advantage of it and um, stepping into that role the best you can. They talk about, I mean, you guys always talk about staying disciplined. I mean, with the new, with the no, new offense, with all the motion, I mean, are they really trying to mess with your eyes and how you kind of stay true to your, your fundamentals when there's so much going on in the offense and motion? Yeah, for sure. I think you definitely have to be more detailed with, uh, like you said, the fundamentals. Of the I mean, that, that can't change no matter what's happening on the offensive side. But, yeah, it's definitely a lot of movement, a lot of motion, um, confusion, like you said. Um, but, yeah, I think if we can just take, stay honed in on the fundamentals, um, it'll be, we'll be fine. But that's the new challenge in the spring balls, to keep those solid with the changing of the offense. From a defensive perspective, I mean, you guys are turning most, most, most of the starting lineup. I mean, I guess, would you say you guys are farther along defensively at this point than last year because you have so much chemistry and so much guys coming back? Or I guess, how would you kind of assess that? Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really gauge it uh, in comparison to last year. I mean, we're not really worried about, oh, what did we do last year? Like that kind of, you know, we're kind of just focused on, okay, this is the 2024 defense. What can we do to be the best 2024 uh, group that we can be? So that's kind of our focus right now. It's been a, maybe the best, maybe a piece of advice or that, you know, whether it be Jay, whether it be Kelly, you know, maybe stood out to you this spring. Like what's something that kind of, you can kind of lean on it, should I say? Ooh, uh, biggest advice. Um, I'll just say, Jay, tell me, keep my ass in my gap. <laughs> uh, you know, just like stay, stay in there and make my job a little easier. Quit, quit doing your own thing. So that's probably the biggest, that's probably the biggest one. <laughs> And I hate to bring up last year again, but what was an example last year watching film where you guys could have stayed more disciplined in the rush? Um, like in the rush? Yeah. I would say, um, I would just say in that Tennessee game, there was a lot of moving parts there with um, how wide their splits were. <laughs> they always... Yeah, took the receivers way out to make it a really small box, and then they would kind of take advantage of that. So I would say that game was big for us. Uh, we had to be a little more disciplined than we were, and yeah, it just wasn't our day. So that's what I did. Is this year's offense sort of running that same, like spread them out, where you guys are still in that lighter box? Um, I mean, there's a lot of motions where they take a linebacker out of the box, mm -hmm. but in terms of the guys in the box, I wouldn't say they're more spread out. I mean, our splits are even 
tighter this year. Um, so there's a lot of motion with the tight ends and that kind of thing. So um, yeah, I would say it's like Tennessee really. It's kind of like a Kyle Shanahan offense is what I've been told by the offensive guys. I really don't, I really don't know much about it, but that, that's what they tell me. So yeah, you can take that, <laughs> you can take that roll with it.